Hey guys, Nick Foxcroft, Silver Salmon. Just wanted to follow up with some uh, interesting data we got back from uh, Lake Management Unit here. Uh, they tested two fish, the, the, the 42 pounder plus and the, that 36 pound plus fish. So they, they broke it down into um, some numbers here, which we'll post on, on the web as well. You guys can read it up for yourself. But let's start with the the 42 pounder. So they're quite certain it's a four year fish. Um, pretty exciting news as, as they kind of think there's probably about a 10% of our salmon that reached the fourth year. So pretty unique, obviously uh, helped that fish get to that size, which is uh, pretty interesting. The fork length was 42.3 inches the total length 45.5 inches and the weight was 42.1 and um, they explained to us that after fish has been frozen for a while it dries out a bit so it wouldn't be exactly what we presented them in the beginning uh, it was a male and it had an immature status so what, what what they explained to us was it was considered immature as the gonad weight was very minimal 0.138 pounds. Uh, the gonads are, are the fish's reproductive system. So tiny. I mean, this fish was uh, nowhere near thinking about going up his river and uh, and uh, having that golden moment, I guess you could say. Uh, the stomach weight was, was substantial, 75 grams. So they estimated there was nine alewives in its stomach. Um, and these alewives were heavily digested they uh, mostly just bones but there was enough there that they could get the data to uh to put a number on that so very cool um some interesting stats there and then we go on to the second fish and um they they, they figure that's a three-year-old fish so interesting point of that just over five pounds difference um but a whole year left of growth Pretty interesting um, data there. Fork length was 39.5, total length 42.1. Um, and after they got on the scales, there was 35.2. So again, there the fish lost some weight from freezing and, and being opened up. Uh, second fish was a female. It was uh, considered in the maturing stage, which meant, you know, the, the gonads uh, which is the female's reproductive um, organs there, was 1.4 pounds. So about 30 to 40% of, of, of getting fully mature. Um, so you can imagine we've all filleted a fish in, in later in the year. Uh, that's substantial weight that, that, that's in the eggs, and this was still pretty minimal. And its stomach was completely empty. So um, if that fish would have had a big breakfast, it definitely would have held some more weight. Um, you know, I just want to touch on the years. So everyone has a bit of different in interpretation of the years and, and um, the management system there clarified a few things for me, which, which I learned a bit, which was great. So let's go back to the fourth year fish. So the fish head out of the river systems may um, just uh, spend that first year to the first winter wouldn't be considered a year. So when we say four years, that fish had four winters. So I guess from birth to spawning and his eventual demise, it would be considered about four and a half year lifespan uh, of that fish. <laughs> Pretty exciting that, that, um, that we had that, that classification there. The, the third year, um, you know, that's, uh, <laughs> would have made a lot more weight if it would have been that fourth year um, class. So Lake Management wanted to get us th this quick data as we know we've been kind of on the edge of our seats there waiting to uh, get a bit more information. So they're gonna do a bit more in-depth testing for us with getting into the, the otoliths, which also called the oboe in there. And what this does is it's, um, considered like a tree that has uh, rings on it, which uh, kind of gives us a year. This does a similar, um, approach when they when they look into this and, and what they'll actually get is the bigger years it grew on so you know um the space in between the rings there is going to say wow he had a big second year big third year growth rate pretty
pretty interesting data. Adds a little more to uh, knowing how these fish are growing. Also, the fins were clipped and they're going to be taken for genetics. Uh, just to give us a bit more data of maybe North Shore, South Shore, river system strains. A um, little more details uh, which will follow up uh, and which we totally understand these things take time. We, we, we threw these fish to these guys pretty quick and uh, they were as excited as we were about them and they wanted to get in there with the studies. They wanted to follow up with a bit more information and more to follow. So we want to give a special thanks out to uh, the lake management unit. A couple of fellas up there really took the initiative to, to get on this quick, um, put a few things aside and it's greatly appreciated. And I'm sure you guys do as well. You know, these guys share the same passions as us uh, and they get to look at things from a different perspective with, with microscopes and figuring out genetics. It's, it's a great relationship we have with these guys and our fishery is in their best interest. So uh, if you ever bump into them, if they're doing data collection or at any of our events, <laughs> just give a big thanks because uh, without them, we wouldn't even know half the stuff we do. Um, so we'll follow up with the other data as it comes across. Uh, and we'll put the write up below for you guys to, to read up on. Let's go find him a few more of these big fish to, um, to get this data on and uh, we're excited to uh, continue on. Thank you.